Spider control and flamethrowers, check. A whole tub of Rexona deodorant, check. Lots of butane gas, check. Glass jar and some very good gloves, check. The Leo King Video Super Spider Catcher, check. Some cheap and nasty aluminium foil, check. Mr. Hammer in case there's a total emergency, check. Warning, this video contains graphic images of a very troublesome, deadly spider infestation. If you have a fear of spiders, this video is not for you. Do you remember the spider problems I had in this part of the garden here? Right now it's all nice and clean and clear of redback spiders, but for how long, who really knows? This area here was where the trouble really started, uh, but the redbacks were sighted back here within three weeks. Now we've got another problem zone, and this one's right up the back of our garden. There is some strange web activity going on underneath the orchids there, which I have to investigate, but what was most worrying is again, these tubs here are showing signs of redbacks. And if I have a careful look under here, I can see signs of redbacks and egg sacs again. Apart from the egg sacs under the lip there, there's also an egg sac strangely on the ground there. Let's kick off and look at these potted plants first. Underneath the handles there, there's signs of web. I'm not exactly sure whether that's red back. It looks a little bit too structured to me, especially when I look at this one here. One part of me is saying red back because of the massive problem I've got, but another part of me is saying and it's another type of spider. Now notice this is the handle of this pot here. If you put your hand under there, whatever's in there is going to probably bite you. I'm not exactly the snail there. Okay, one thing out, another snail there. <laughs> wow, the things that live in there, there's dead bodies of things there. Mm, but what spider is going to pop out of this is a big question. There's two sections of this thing. Whoa, there it goes. What was it? Did you see it? Just taking a look at slow motion, I don't think that's red back for the way it bolted. Uh, red, red backs tend to ball up and try and hide and they uh, play dead. That thing just ran for its life. There's another one like that here. It probably produced the same spider and snails. I've uh, not seen anything run out yet. Who knows what's up there? That's a scary part to all this. The handles on these pots are just spider homes. Lots of doobly things that spiders leave and eat. There's some spiders you want to keep around, and there's just some you want to get rid of. If it's not a red back, it's probably not going to bother me. And maybe down between some tubs here of Mummy's lovely garden, let me just split these tubs apart very carefully. And I might see some classic red back spider web activity. Well, there's lots of snails here. Mummy's not going to like that because the snails eat the garden. But there's lots of ramshackle web going between these tubs here, and the web tends to go all the way down to the ground. On back at the main bad area, as I call it, there's weird finding an egg sac on the ground. Mind you, I think the spiders move the egg sacs around all the time. And I come with my special uh, special tool to get the other egg sacs. And apart from the egg sacs, who knows what else I'll drag out of here, which is often the most scary part. There'll be a spider around somewhere. Wherever there's a web, there is the spider. And the egg sac's being a little bit hard to get. Hmm. It's like the strangest Christmas bauble, isn't it? I think that's a fairly fresh one. Uh, when there's spiderlings developed in there, I think they get to a darker colour. When I mow the lawns, the clippings tend to stick into the redback's web. That's a really easy way of seeing, them, seeing the web. Maybe you could put talcum powder, throw it around, and it would reveal the web. Uh, when there's nothing sticking in this web, it's actually very hard to see. There's another egg sac up here. I'm just trying to get down. Okay, I think I was getting it down. To come in and try and carefully get that egg sack without destroying it. Okay. I'm starting to understand these now. I think the one I just pulled down has got the spidlings developed in it. It's a bit darker in colour and there's like ants that have bitten onto the outside. I think that's a fresh one. And the other one was like the rejected one on the ground. Which I don't really understand. Yes, I've opened another well-developed egg sack which also had ants and things on the outside. Maybe the mother spider uh, does this as the first feed for the spiderlings. That's the only thing I can think of what's going on there. That's one thing to find the redback's eggs here, but what I haven't seen and what worries me the most is I haven't seen the redback spider. Normally they hang out very close to their eggs. So my plan of attack is very simple here. I'm going to save the eggs, but I'm going to come in and do some very selective firebombing to clear the redbacks out. I have separated this first tub away, which seems to be one of the major infestation areas here. 
and when I pulled it away I noticed there's more problems at the back here. Well there's a snail hiding out there but if I track along even further oh, I think I can see some more red back spider eggs. I'm also seeing a network of web that goes back into the garden here. There's not much I can do about that there but I've got to do something about this here. Okay there's the egg sac there at the back of the tub. I'm going to try and tweeze this out. I've had a red back bottom here. It looks like it's fairly well developed. Yeah that one is darker. That's really cooking up that one. I've got a piece of aluminium here and I'm going to try and reflect some light up into that tub area there underneath the area where the spiders are hiding. And maybe we can start to see their secret little world a little bit better. Uh, but strangely enough, I'm just looking through the viewfinder on the camera. Where are the spiders? Is that another egg up there? Or is that a, another snail? Really, I think I've seen enough. I'm not going to try and save anything up. I'm just going to start firebombing. I've had enough. I've been a good boy and I've put foil over mummy's veggies. And now it's time to firebomb these spiders. Now from what I've worked out, this is the most effective way of killing a redback spider without causing it that much pain and I'm pretty sure the spider is down there. I was expecting to find more, mind you I still got to have a good look around, there it is there. And there's also that very strange thing, there might be a double egg sac. Yes it was an egg sac and I think the eggs are coming out of it, there they go. Okay don't be alarmed, I'm very pleased they're gone. Okay yeah the heat's opened up the egg sac there. The other one is I dare say the same age and there is the red back there. So both those egg sacs only had the eggs, they hadn't turned into spiderlings yet, but it was very strange only to find one female redback, I was expecting to find more. I was me sort of worried, you know, one redback yet five egg sacs from that tub there. I'll foil up the next one and I'll firebomb this next. Well that burnout uh, fried a few snails, I think there's a poor ladybug killed, but we have a red back spider right here, okay, and I'll put it with the other one. One wonders whether those two were related. Anyway, I gave them a baptism of fire, I've got to now move on to the last tub to firebomb. Anyone like cooked snails? Sometimes there are casualties of war, and poor old Mrs. Ladybug isn't looking her best. It's very sad, isn't it? Very sad. Well, I can't see any females. They're large and they're black and they've got a big red stripe. If there's any juveniles or males around, uh, they're just so small, they generally just get vaporized by the flames. I better put Mummy's garden back together. I hope it hasn't been fried. I'll give it a good water. And then mummy says this video, I am gone, I'm going to be cooked meat. Um, two female redbacks, um, but what was very alarming, was it five eggs? That's just too many if you ask me. There we go, mummy is never ever going to know. The number of snails, um, that's quite alarming and once again I keep saying, that what's missing in this equation, uh, blue tongue lizards or skinks as some people might call them, uh, I'm pretty sure without those guys around uh, is 90% of the reason why we have the red back problem. These tubs here get moved around during the year. Depends on what time of year and what's being planted in them. As you can see, that's a spring thing going on there. Uh, because I know what red back spider webs look like, I've never seen red back set up uh, like I have seen there. But what is right next to this area here is an old incinerator, and these is what I would call the classic red back zone because it's got a metal door there, it's hot in the sun. And if I open this up, we might get a bit of a surprise. Well, this incinerator has got like a very angry ant nest going on. That might be a saving grace. 
I can see web in there that to me looks like red back. Okay, look at that messy, messy web which has got no definition in it at all. Uh, things like red backs like to eat, uh, which are down there. Uh, but I can't firebomb this because we can't burn incinerators. Uh, you know, the ants may have taken out the red backs here, but then again, I might be just up here. If I prod around, who knows what is going to fall out of this thing. And up there, I think that's an egg sack. Let me just carefully try and get this out. Mmm, spider egg sack, but I might have been a bit late. Looks like they've already burst open. But what I like about this is, for the fact I've seen the ants, I think the ants would have done a lot of cleaning up in here of those spiders. And sometimes it's best to let nature play out its own little game. The spider infestation at my place has become quite troublesome. In there I've got two female redback spiders and six egg sacs. That's one very special, special load. I better leave this video here. As always, thanks for watching and bye for now.